Real true. Hey, hey, what up, set? What up, set? Yo, what's up, everyone? This is VC V Sips. Welcome to a brand new video. It's been a while since I dropped a video on the channel, so make sure you guys please smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well, because only about 45% of my viewers are not subscribed so if you're not subscribed make sure you're subscribed to never miss any uploads live streams videos music and more content provided for you and i'm gonna have an update video sometime next week to cover the future of the channel but without further ado we have some stuff we gotta talk about for today's supposedly major square enix presentation square enix presents spring 2021 live stream and man this was an absolute atrocity a travesty Ugh. before the presentation happened they made sure that they covered a couple of the details of what's gonna be covered they they, they were gonna cover Outriders uh, Life is Strange the new Life is Strange game that's coming True Colors as well as Avengers and right right off the bat once I heard those games are being listed I was like well this is going to be a very western focused Square Enix presentation. But for some reason, people on the internet and a lot of people I know who were covering this event were like, oh, We're going to see Kingdom Hearts games on the Switch. Oh my god. Are we going to see more about Final Fantasy Integrade? Oh my god. Can we see this and that? And no, we instead got fucking Balan Wonderworld and fucking stupid Hitman for fucking mobile. Hitman Sniper Assassins. Who, 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 who asked for... A Hitman game on mobile. I'm pretty sure nobody did, and they they probably could have even put it on Switch if they wanted to. Like they, they they launched a bunch of mobile games, even Just Cause for mobile. Who's asking for Just Cause on mobile? I and I haven't heard a single person go, "Hey, I love the Just Cause series. It's one of my favorites. Let me go and play the game on mobile anywhere I go, but not on the Switch though." Like what? I don't get that. Uh, they also covered. A Space Invaders augmented reality game, which is now in development for mobile, because once again, uh, I guess the Western audience loves augmented reality, I'm not sure, <laughs> but the majority of the games here are Western, like, encapsulated, like, Avengers is a Western game. Tomb Raider is a Western game, and I, I like Tomb Raider, the older Tomb Raider games. I'm not a fan of the new trilogy. Uh, they did show, speaking of Tomb Raider, uh, a brand new locale in Fortnite called the Croft Manor, and there they even in this presentation promoted a cookbook, a cookbook for Lara Croft. Are you serious? Where where's the games? Square Enix has been known for the years. For the vast majority of its existence, for its amazing Japanese RPGs, for its amazing games that they've been known for for many, many years. Romancing Saga, Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, Kingdom Hearts. The the list of games, their amazing JRPGs goes on and on. But man, I gotta be honest. I, I, I knew that they were going to show a lot more of their Western releases, but holy shit, they really shit the bed with this presentation, in my opinion. And Square Enix is one of my favorite, uh, uh, like, just in general, like, one of my favorite development studios. Like, Square Enix and Capcom and Nintendo, those are my three favorite uh, game companies, all three of them. And uh, this presentation by Square Enix is absolutely dropping the ball, and we're not even done yet. Uh, like I said, they covered Avengers, and they <laughs> even after the game sold poorly, even after the game was basically dropped immediately a month after release, they now have an Avengers 2021 roadmap. Bruh, really? A 2021 roadmap? <sighs> There's no reason for this dumb roadmap, my god. But, the one thing that is good, which people were asking for, and Square Enix did pull through for, was Black Panther being added to Avengers, which I am glad about that because a lot of people were asking for that, and that's the one thing that Square Enix is like, you know what, you want this, we'll give it to you. Especially after the game flopped completely. Avengers really did flop. But uh, I, I, I know I haven't really talked much about Life is Strange. I'm just not huge into the series. I've played it before because uh, one time it was a game on PlayStation Plus as a free game. Uh, I believe it was the original Life is Strange. And I played it and beat it. It was a decent experience, but it was nothing to write home about. It didn't make me feel, oh, I need to play the next game. Like, I never 
felt like that with Life is Strange. But I know a few people who do like that series. And then they had to show more Balan Wonder World. Oh my god. D please do not buy that game. Do not play that game. Please. For your own safety. For your own sanity. Don't do that. <laughs> oh my god. But yo. <sighs> I just really just don't understand what Square Enix was thinking with this presentation. They could have at least do a couple of more fiery games in here. They really didn't do enough. They could have done so much more with this presentation. But, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But, overall, this presentation was very lackluster. Uh, completely Western-oriented, which, I'm from the West, but most Western games from Japanese publications really are just not good. However, we do have some tidbits of the future, like Project Athia, which they showed towards the very end. And that's pretty dope because it's been very highly anticipated. However, we need to see a lot more about that, as well as Forspoken too. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed my thoughts, my ramblings of today's Square Enix presentation, and my first video that I've dropped in a little while, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a single live stream or upload a video. Only 45% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video, to smash that like button if you also enjoyed. And share the video. Please share it. If you share the video, it gets more people to see the video, and it would really help us out. And if you're a member of our community or want to be a member of our community, 100% click. Join up with the join button on YouTube to become a member of our exclusive community and our exclusive Discord with a ton of perks and benefits for supporting the channel as a member of the 100% click. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace. Don't test me, I'll be too fast, cause I'm